Hello and welcome to RG Hobby TV. We are going to take a look on the amazing Strike Freedom Gundam from the Gundam Build Fighter Amazing Ready series. And this is how it looks from the front when it's complete. And this is how it looks from the side. And the lock from the back. Now in terms of accessories, it doesn't have much. They only give you this rifle. Give you this rifle. And there's not much gimmick on this rifle, it's just pretty much straightforward. There's nothing like uh, another second handle that you can pull out. It's a very straightforward beam rifle. And they also gave you two open hand. Uh, also, of course, two close fist hand, which you can use to hold the weapons. And that's all for the in terms of accessory that you get with this kit. Now let's take a look on the articulation that this kit have. The head can go this far up and this much down. It can turn around, no issue at all. Right? The hand can go all this way up and it can bend this much. It can also turn on this part here, turn around. And as for the um, this part, it can do a little crunching. Only this much, right? The side skirt can move this far up. And since it's uh, using the um, strike freedom design, of course it can move to the back. But originally you need to attach a weapon over here, but there's no need for that since the uh, beam rifle. The original beam rifle already attached to the back pack. Now moving on to the leg, can go this far out. If you put it back, it can go very far. Can bend this much, right? And the feet can do this much and bend this much, right? Now the side skirt, you can separate them in the middle. It's uh, it's if you separate them, it's a ball joint, so you can move independently. So you can move this far up. And here's something new for a HG kit. Normally the back of uh, any HG kit it just uh, fixed, but this one can move this far out. And although you can see there are two beam saber attached to the back of this kit, they do not give you any beam effects. So the rail gun can be applied like such. Just pull it out, and there you go. And now let's take a closer look on the backpack. First and foremost, this bottom part it's on a ball joint, so you can remove it or you can attach it and you can just move around you can, so you can adjust according to your pose and the beam original beam rifle already moved to the backpack and normally it just stands right like that but you can also move it like so to shoot right in front right and there are two Vrape Dragoon or that's what they call it Vrape Dragoon uh, over here it can open up the dragon can be opened up like so and it can move this much this much and also this much and this much and this is how you attach the dragon shield you remove this peg which is remove that and just like this right and the dragon already attached it's ready to rumble. Now the pose that you can do with the Amazing Strike Freedom, you can pose it with its beam rifle like this. With the Vrape Dragoon, this uh, you remove from the backpack and attach to the hand and become a dragon shield and you can display it like this.
And last but not least, the full burst mode. You can display all the weapons shooting in burst mode, like this. The building experience of the strike, amazing strike freedom Gundam is really interesting, and it definitely worth your definitely definitely worth your money. All right, and you can see in this build, I did not use any of the shields, only apart from the eye. So that's the only sticker that I use. Gave you this much extra part for from the um, original strike freedom, so. It, Feel free to customize it. This is a build file series, so it's built for customization, anyways. And that's all for the amazing Strike Freedom Gundam from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And thank you for watching. Good day.